Hello and thank you for joining me tonight. I go by Lunini and this video is a distance Reiki session dedicated to establishing personal boundaries and methods of protection for us to not be um, imposed upon, you could say. That's like a nice way of putting it. <laughs> um, and this also kind of ties into an Instagram post that I made maybe a month ago, but a lot of people were asking me to make a video that kind of pertained to this where we talked on it. The post that I'm speaking of, I mentioned how it's been a struggle, <laughs> a challenge for me personally to be, get to a point where I'm comfortable not agreeing with people. And a, a lot of times throughout my whole life, part of how I've communicated is by nodding and agreeing when I'm not personally agreeing with what someone's saying. So, for example, um, my grandmother popped into my head. She's a little negative. <laughs> I love her, but she's a little negative. So when I talk to my grandmother, say, or when you're speaking with someone who's kind of complaining or negative or just sharing an opinion that is not your opinion, human nature kind of puts us in this point where we start to, and everyone's different, but where we kind of like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, you know, or yeah, yeah, or you're, you're just listening and really what you're doing is responding and being like, I'm listening to you. I hear you. Okay, yes, it's okay for you to share, but what we're really doing when we're, when we're agreeing unintentionally or not specifically consciously agreeing, we're subconsciously agreeing. Whenever someone is saying something that we don't agree to, but we're just kind of going through the motion, nodding, saying yes, what our subconscious is picking up on is that we agree and those little subtle information and subtle ways of thought and subtle patterns and beliefs and things like that that don't belong to us kind of trickle down and they get into our subconscious and they can definitely play a very heavy role in how our life ends up kind of what, what paths we end up going down or what things were that are attracted to us or that we're attracted to. This is something that although we can do Reiki for and we can begin to release these beliefs that may have been imposed upon us or may have been we may have been overly receptive to, it's great to do energy work for this and it really starts to make a big impact and really kind of gets the ball rolling or like starts the snowball of accumulation. But a huge part of it is bringing awareness to these actions that we have. So part of this Reiki session is not only to cut those ties and to destroy, <laughs> destroy these negative things or these things, again, that don't belong to us, don't support us, don't support our ultimate goals and desires and how we want our life to play out, etc., but also to bring that awareness, bring an understanding of like, oh wait, I'm doing it again, I'm saying yes, you know? You can say, there's other things that we can say that aren't yes or yeah or not or anything like that to get someone to feel like you understand that we're listening to them without us necessarily agreeing. You can say things like, I hear you. Um, this just popped in my head, but um, it's a little off the path. But one thing that I've really learned that's like a really perfect thing to say to someone, well, two things actually just popped in my head. When... Someone says something to you that is either insulting or negative or you you have an awareness where you realize that they said something kind of messed up and you certainly don't want to agree with it, but you also want to kind of draw it to them, like bring it to their attention. A really wonderful thing that you can say is, what do you mean by that? <laughs> I know it's really simple, but it's a really great way to get people to stop and think about what they just said. Are they going to expand upon this negativity? Are you providing them with a little break to kind of allow them to step back and analyze just briefly even what they're, what they're saying? Sometimes someone will say something kind of nasty to you and maybe you know that either they don't mean it or that you're going to give them a chance to correct themselves before you get in an argument or anything like that. What do you mean by that? It doesn't have to be nasty, like, what do you mean by that? But like, what do you mean by that? You know, like very genuine and just 
like expand upon that please or give them a chance to kind of correct things that can be a hugely beneficial way of not only maintaining your boundaries but also giving someone the opportunity to correct themselves and to think for themselves another good thing that and these are things that people have taught me i didn't come up with them another good thing to i love you Another good thing to have in your arsenal of ready-to-go um, responses, in my opinion, is that's how I like it. <laughs> I like it this way, but this, I like this. I know it sounds really silly, or out of context, it sounds really silly, but when someone's criticizing, specifically criticizing you, and you start to feel defensive, sometimes when we start to feel defensive, we're kind of just meeting someone on their level or meeting someone on this like negative level that's not to say you shouldn't defend yourself i don't mean anything like that but it's not always necessary to kind of get ourselves so heavily involved in a conversation or in an argument or or in anything because it will kind of stick with you through the day so when someone's criticizing you or or me <laughs> my my go-to is i like it that way <laughs> i like i like wearing this color that doesn't suit me or I like wearing um you know this perfume or essential oil or whatever or I like my hair like this or I'm using physical things but um I just don't want to take it to like a personal level but if someone criticizes how you cook how you drive as long as you're driving safely <laughs> you know things like that I like it this way like no one can argue with you over something like that you know like no one can say like well, you shouldn't like it that way. Like, cause then they're going to sound like a crazy person and just like control freak kind of thing. So those are just a couple of my go-to response tips for when you want to kind of distance yourself and break the, um, interaction with negativity or with anything that you don't really want to participate in and you want to kind of maintain your, your healthy bubble. So the healthy bubble <laughs> brings us to the three key session and what we want to be doing here. So not only are we going to bring that awareness, but we want to cut these ties, cut these things that have already been implanted in us. Now, human nature is perceptive, is receptive, is, you know, that's how we learn. That's how we've evolved. We have, you know, this type of brain and we are very easily impressioned upon. Now, that, <laughs> if you can do depending on how you look at that, that could be a kind of negative thing. I mean, like, look at mass media, look at um, these, like, group mentalities, um, look at the way people tend to, and I'm not saying everyone, but there's a certain, you know, it's out there where people aren't thinking for themselves, and they read one article, or not even the article, they read a headline, and, you know, it's like, all this, like, information is being, like, attached to you. You don't mean to, but you're already, by doing that, by being exposed to those things, those conversations, those headlines, those memes, you're create, you're being created, you're being impressioned upon, and that's not always a good thing, you know? We can look at social media and, like, Facebook, like, I stay off of Facebook. I don't go on Facebook. <laughs> I'm on there once in a while, but I really don't go on heavily except once in a while to, like, update my page and, like, talk to people on there. But, like, personal Facebook, like, I don't go on there because it's just full of... I don't know. I just stay off of that. However, I love Instagram. It works for me. You might like Pinterest. You might like Tumblr. You might like something different but i encourage people to use social media that they can customize so that they they're being impressioned with the things that they want that the things are healthy to them so let's say you're trying to improve your lifestyle health wise or diet or you want to stay motivated in something that you're working on or a project or you want to get your finances in order or you want to learn more about reiki and crystals and meditation or yoga or whatever it is Having this way of customizing what's being impressioned upon you can be very supportive that way and can kind of keep you focused on whatever your goal is. When it's chaotic, when any whomever can post any whatever and you just see it, you know, like that's where things can get a little tricky. So I would just encourage people to look out for something like that. All right, so during this session, I would like you to also if you're interested in participating in this session to set an intention as i will as well to 
let go of any belief, thoughts, thought pattern, ideas, ideals, anything that does not belong to you, nor, or another way to put it, does not support your ultimate good, your ultimate benefits, your ultimate achievement and success and advancement and reaching your goals and desires or whatever the case may be that you have kind of working within your life. This can be stuff that we've picked up all the way through our lives, all through childhood, all through everything, you know, our parents' impression things upon us about how the world works. This could be related to family values, money, relationships, um, diet, health, what makes someone healthy, what is a good way to maintain health, um, mental patterns, the way we argue, like this could be all kinds of stuff. And also we want to set an intention to release anything that we've picked up through the media that again doesn't support our ultimate good. And I'm not talking about not being educated here, like so please don't confuse that or you know call me out for saying everyone should hide under a rock and just like you know, whatever, burn some sage and everything's going to be all good. I mean, it doesn't sound that bad to me, but what I mean is it's okay to be educated. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying when you're constantly inundated with like people complaining and negativity, we would like to avoid that. Like, I don't see a point in that, you know, I'd love to hear your thoughts, but I don't see a point in that. So those are the things we're going to focus on releasing and we also want to strengthen our aura and strengthen our, our mental capacity to discern what is ours and what isn't ours, what benefits us and what doesn't, and bring into that level of protection also like red flags that go off, awareness keys, things that be brought into our conscious mind to say, hey, wait a minute, what's my subconscious picking up right now? What am, I, what am I agreeing to right now? What's going on? How can I prevent myself from being imposed upon in this way that I clearly don't want to or I, I, don't, I don't fall into this line of thought? I should mention though that there is a, a fine line between being protected and having your, your goals and your, your desires and all that stuff like maintained and preserving your way of thinking. But there's also a, like a, an extreme version of that that we don't want to tap into, which is being closed off, which is not being receptive to good new ideas or potential ways that might be different than how we think but that are ultimately an improvement or a growth or an eye-opening experience. I hope that you know what I mean because that's really important. We don't want to be focusing on protecting ourselves and like, nope, da, da, da. like how will we ever grow and change if we're completely in this bubble? So I don't mean it like that, but we want to develop a level of discernment and again, awareness to say, what's happening? Does this support me? Is this good for me? Should I, <laughs> should I block this out? Um, a good way to do that is to set an intention to to go into this as we do this session but cast your aura cast yourself command your aura to take on specifically the color yellow or white would be good and say to your aura like do not let anything that does not support my highest good to pass through yellow is the color that we cast in auras or that pertains to auras that are of knowledge and intellect learning and mental capacity so that's why we choose the color yellow to shield ourselves in those situations so we're going to get into our reiki session now if you'd like to know some good stones that are very useful for this fluorite 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 is a great stone for protecting your aura Specifically, yellow and green fluorites are really good for protecting yourself this way. Yellow obviously kind of goes into that mental mental thing that we're talking about. But green is where our heart is related to our heart space. And our heart is where our true discernment lies. It's really where we follow our heart and know what's right and wrong for us. So during this session, we're not only going to just focus on the upper mental chakras and uh, energy points, so our throat, um, pituitary, and pineal gland, 
but also our heart because that is again the discerning space and these all need to be uh, flowing efficiently for us to kind of have this this balance and being able to tap into more of our higher self and taking a step back it's a good flow for you know being able to view and witness and discern and make a call as opposed to being immersed and being like all just like pulled into this kind of chaos So what we want to do first is focus on commanding our aura to take on this color of bright golden yellow with a tint of green in it. I heard a good description of this color so you could picture like sunlight coming through the leaves of a tree or like a canopy. So it's bright and yellow but it also has like a little bit of green mixed in there bit limey, but ultimately more golden. And as we do this, we're going to cast this aura color. So you can see it starting at your crown, going over your face, your ears, the back of your head, your shoulders, your chest and stomach, down your arms, down your back, around your hips, and down your legs to the floor. And the aura can be very big depending on the person and the moment of the person. So whether you see yours as being very close to your face and very close to your to your body, or you feel your aura being very big and <laughs> nearly filling the room. Whatever comes to you is appropriate. There's no wrong way to sense your aura. And usually what we end up visualizing is pretty much, we're pretty in tune with that kind of stuff. So what you see in your mind as your aura, you can, you know, kind of go with that, that that's where it is right now. So what we want to focus on now is tapping into this ability <laughs> to go through time and space to remove this potential impacting negative or just not really supporting your, your goals and desires again who you want to be, your personality, and we're going to cut through all of that and just pull it out. Pulling it out, if you want to picture it, kind of coming out of your pituitary gland also your pineal. They're kind of more or less in the same space. The pituitary is in the front a little more. I believe the pineal is up a little more and back. So. If you enjoy working with angels, you're more than welcome to call in Archangel Michael. He's very efficient at cutting cords. <clears throat> we can do that together if you like. Archangel Michael, we ask that you be present to facilitate the cutting of cords for or related to any thoughts, pattern, belief system, or imposed idea that has been impressioned upon us that doesn't serve our best interests. We ask that you also help to strengthen our will and awareness so we can 
develop this understanding of what's actually happening and what we're allowing to seep into our subconscious and affect us. So we're going to keep casting this color. Golden, yellow, green. We know and trust that these cords have been cut. And now we want to strengthen our ability to discern and bring awareness to these understandings of what's truly happening and what we're allowing to help happen and affect us. So to do that, we're going to focus first on the heart. throat. This is where we have a lot of knowledge and understanding in, in this point. And we want to bring in a different symbol which helps to relieve karma or more specifically in this case promises, contracts that we kind of established anyway, like a commitment that does not serve us, just to cover all the bases. We're going to fluff the aura and make it very protected and thick. Coming out. So you can trust that you've been released of these beliefs, but it's up to you to when you have the inclination to step back and view what's happening and have opportunities to discern whether or not you want to let this in or, you know, like let something into you and to affect you. You need to act on that reminder that your subconscious is sending you. It's there for a reason. So that's an important part of this session is being participating in it that way and showing your ability to discern and to step out of these patterns. Whenever you feel like you're in a conversation or a place where you can't really get away, <laughs> sometimes we're stuck with people at work or in certain situations, family and stuff. So, if you just can't get away, you need to be in the room and there's a conversation going on and it's not worth you participating in and you know this, remember to cast your aura in yellow and light green and make a command that you will not be imposed upon. You will not, you do not agree. Whatever is being said right now, I don't agree. 
and also replace what's being said, even if it's just in your mind to yourself, replace what's being said with something positive, with, I don't want to say the opposite, but what, what you do believe, or whatever the case may be. I mean, it's kind of dependent on the situation, but I hope that you know what I mean by that. Hope that you enjoyed this video and that you're able to pick something up from it and if not i hope it was relaxing at least got a new i'm using a different camera today so we'll see how it turns out <laughs> um just a quick mention a few things um i have a new channel which i'm sure a lot of you know about but if you don't know about it there'll be a little bubble that pops up somewhere of me on a bike <laughs> for now and that's a little vlog channel so if you're interested in kind of getting to know me a little more that's where you'll be able to find that I guess that's it so I hope you enjoyed I hope that you have a wonderful evening and that this was again something that serves you thank you from the bottom of my heart and as always namaste <laughs>